Hey guys, Jeff Schneider here. We're back after a couple of days of not doing these videos, even though I said I was going to do them every day. I'm sorry, first of all, um, but I was in the recording studio yesterday uh, recording a film score, and so that was taking up quite a bit of time and had to put the videos aside. But we're back now, and since I was recording the film score, I wanted to do today's video about com composing, composition, and one way, at least, of approaching that. Uh, and, and some additional thoughts I have on the subject. So, here is a little lesson in composing. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna go over to the piano now and um, do some demonstrations over there. So one way to start composing is by taking a chord progression that you like um, and coming up with a melody that goes over it. So it's alright to steal a chord progression, people do it all the time, it's, you can't copyright a chord progression so it's totally fine to just pick one you like and, and make your own melody and, and do something else with it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, one of the chord progressions that really kind of caught my ear um, at a young age was actually the, the tune Confirmation by Charlie Parker. I really, really like that chord progression, you know, going from the, uh, the F major, you know, that 2-5-1 to the D minor, uh, just to slow it down, that's F major 7, E half diminished, A altered, to a D minor 7. I just thought that was the coolest thing, at least my ears did. Anyway, um, then I'll play a couple more chords here, so... So those are the chord progressions. It's a lot of two five ones, basically starting on F, ending on F. So one thing I think is important to say is that the music I hear coming from young composers or beginning composers um, is that it tends the melodies tend to sound contrived in a way that is too too theory dependent. So if you have some chords. You know the chords, you know the scales that go to the chords, um, and then you kind of just pick notes that go in that scale, but may not necessarily make any melodic sense. And a really good remedy for that is to not trust your theory, but trust your ear. That's a really important part. After all, music is something we listen to. It's not it's not like an intellectual thought that we have first, it's something that we, we hear. So it's kind of like your left brain, right brain kind of a division there. You know, your left brain is, is thinking about the theory and all the intellectual side of, of, of the music. And your right is, is really interpreting the sound and melodies and things that you actually hear, not think. You know what I mean? The difference between thinking and hearing music. It's, it's two very different things, and oftentimes with com com composition and improvisation, actually, is where we're thinking a little bit too much and not, and not hearing enough. So one way to remedy that is by singing. And it doesn't matter if you're a great singer or not, as long as you're trying, really. Um, so you can play chords on the piano or on a guitar. Either way is, is a great way to get started. Um, even if, I guess, you had like a play-along, you could sing along with that just to get just to get some ideas flowing. I like the piano because you can play those chords and just let them sit for a while and, and sing some stuff over them. So I'm going to take this first, these first few chords and play uh, F major, E half diminished, A7. Let's just start with those, uh, those four chords there. And I'm going to just sing some stuff over it. Da 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 da, do do da 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 da. da. All right, let's try something else. Do da, di da do da, da 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 do da. Another idea. Do do da, da da do da do da da. And one more. Ba da da do da. So that was just some free flow on ideas, and I was really listening and just singing. The next step would be to actually figure out what the notes are that you're singing. 
Uh, so we'll we'll do another example. Pa 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 de bo, do de da 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 do, do de da. So those notes would be. Something like that. Um, getting the connection between singing something and then being able to play the notes, play the notes right away, is a really, really, really important skill. It's almost, I, it might be the most important skill actually when it comes to playing music, is being able to immediately know the notes that you're going to, that you're that you're hearing in your head, and being able to play them on your instrument. That's super, super important. That's kind of the the best way to to compose, actually, in my opinion, at least. Because you're, you're getting a direct connection with the music. Again, we're not thinking of notes that go with F major. You know, we could just... You know, we could just play random notes. It's not going to necessarily make good music. So, getting in touch with your voice and with your ears. Singing is, is really uh, the way to unlock that other side of your brain and not get stuck in the theory mode. Because it's easy to learn theory. It's like memorization. But getting in touch with that other side it's a little bit more abstract. It's kind of, it's kind of difficult to switch into that gear if you've been thinking too much. So get yourself away from the thinking, start singing a little bit, and that will, that will really set you off in the right direction. And one other thing that is just a, kind of a, a great thing to do when you're composing is to develop your ideas. So for that last thing I played, I don't really remember exactly, but... So I have this phrase, da de bo, do de da 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 de bo, do de da. So these notes, you know, pa da da, pa 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 de bo, do de da 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 de do, do de da. So I'm definitely taking an idea there and dragging it out over the course of the 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 four chords, and we could take that very far. Pa 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 de bo, do de da 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 de bo, do de da 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 da, da 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 da. Just an idea. Anyway, get singing. If you don't play the piano, actually, or guitar, I really recommend learning it. Uh, just so you can basic, just so you can play some basic chords and, and get going with the uh, the playing the chords and then singing a melody line over the top. Not the only way to write a song, but it's a it's a good one, I think. Uh, let me know how that goes. <coughs> Still sick, by the way. Also. Mixing the uh, the film score that I recorded yesterday. I'm um, gonna do the mixing tomorrow. Uh, so going back into the studio for that. When it's all said and done, I hope to share some of that music with you guys. I think it came out pretty well, and um, that'll be it for today. Let me know if you have questions or comments. And as always, please subscribe. Uh, if you want to talk more one on one, feel free to shoot me an email at jeffschneidermusic at gmail uh, for Skype lessons or anything like that. So I will see you tomorrow, now that we're back on schedule, and no crazy projects uh, tomorrow, so we should be alright. Uh, see you then, thanks for watching, I'm Jeff Schneider, talk to you soon.